Hi everyone, Rosie Tours here. I'm back for another walkthrough video, and I'm here at Eaton Centris Walk in Kazan City. Up ahead, you could see the Eaton Centris Mall itself, which is connected to the MRT Kazan Avenue station, right there. I chose to do this walk tour at night because of the nice lights installed here particularly in time for the Christmas season. We're now on our way. Up ahead you will see a food bazaar. So there are different food items available at the different stalls here. This is one of the hallways on the side that you will pass by and route to one of the main attractions here which is the park up ahead. I think you can already begin to see the interesting structure or spaceship like structure that's been installed here at the park which really looks the most attractive in the evening compared to the daytime and surrounding the park at this time are more bazaars it's a Sunday night and there are still a lot of people out enjoying the outdoor space that Sentry's Walk has to offer. Here's their gorgeous Christmas tree. Kids in particular love this space. A lot of families out even tonight the nice thing about this place is that you will not run out of food options Restaurants offering different kinds of cuisines are close by. Which you can enjoy by dining in or taking away your food. not really sure what those spaceship like installations are called but they sure are interesting and very nice to look at on screen up ahead are more food bazaars
So let's take a closer look before heading on. Annabelle. So you can definitely eat out al fresco beside these food bazaar stalls. Which definitely helps with the COVID situation. So here's a closer view of the Christmas tree installed here. already lighted up or lit up at this time and up ahead in fact is the new location of the Sunday market And we will be exploring that at another video at another time. Everything's looking good at night, in fact. I think you would agree. Around the park are also office spaces. Occupied mainly by business process outsourcing companies or simply call centers as they are known here. We've now gone past the park and just taking a stroll on the rest of the Eaton Centris property. Here's a view of North Park restaurant. There are also public restrooms available at strategic points of Eaton Centris like here I haven't used their restroom personally but I heard that they're clean I hope the pocket use wide angle lens is helping you see more of the surroundings. I wasn't quite a fan of the wide angle lens because it tends to distort straight lines of structures uh, such as buildings. But from what I see on the screen so far, everything seems to be looking great. We can go with that. 
I will also let you enjoy this walker quietly as a timely Christmas song plays in the background. The environment really complements that kind of mood as you feel closer to nature. More dining establishments. A lot of people are still out at this time. More food bazaars over at this side. Let's take a closer look. This is the other outdoor space here, which is really also very pretty at night with all the lights installed. Even the trees are lit well. So it's really very enticing to hang out. when you follow the path walking straight from the main park with all those crazy spaceship looking structures This is now uh, the entry point to the office spaces up above. This is one of the cyber pod, Sentry Cyber Pod buildings leased out by call centers. shuttle stops right now or a shuttle bus that goes around this is the one perfect timing I will be posting a footage of that. I rode the shuttle bus around Eaton Centris. It was a nice experience.
We're just walking straight still. And I want to show you the old site of the Sunday Market, which has now been turned into, in the local parlance, we call it area. That's what the site looks like. We'll try to explore that at some other time. This is the Victory Christian Church. We've reached the end of the corner of the Eaton Centris commercial property. Across is now McDonald's at the corner. And this is along Edsa Highway here in Quezon City. We will turn right at the corner to go back to Eaton Centris and explore the rest of the place. This is a floor map that would be of help to you. Should you come here for the first time. And this hallway leads to the other side. So you can use that as an alternate route if you don't want to walk around the corner like I'm doing now. It's a really nice evening this 5th of December and I think because of the greenery within this property It tends to get cold in the evening. So if you're the type of person who could get cold easily, you might want to bring a thin jacket with you. And across the street are more food bazaars. Let's try to have a closer look because it's just too far to see from this side of the street. Earlier in the day, this place was dead. There were no people at all coming here. But now, it looks like... Oops, we're at the exit side. But now it looks like the place suddenly came alive when nighttime hit. This is just a close enough view to give you a good preview of what it's like inside. This is the entrance. I was just beside a blaring speaker right there. <laughs> I hope you still had no problem hearing me. And thanks to my trusty mini microphone. So that's the end of uh, the food bazaar at this side of Ethan Centris. This is what the other side looks like. We'll now be heading back 
but if you want to enjoy street dining or al fresco dining here you can definitely come and visit this food bazaar parking spaces are also available just beside it right here so you will have no problem whatsoever finding parking slots should you decide to come over this is now the main hall leading to the office spaces to the left that would be concentrics I believe and across it are food options as well including a new brand of convenience store at the left corner a 7-eleven branch still standing on the right side it's been there for as long as I can remember the last time I visited here I guess you can say that some things never change Sorry about the vehicles obstructing our view. That is because it is a drop off point. So KFC is another close by fast food chain that employees from the office spaces upstairs can enjoy. I'm not hoping that you can see much. Yeah, it's too dark, but trying to show you a preview of what the building looks like. And over here is a food truck inspired branch of Turks Shawarma. This is uh, the parking space for employees of the cyber uh, the cyber pod office space. And this is the parking space beside uh, the food bazaar. That's the whole stretch. Heading back now. As you notice on the left, there are more bazaar stalls. But this would be clothing bazaars now and other non-food items. They're really looking prominent at night compared to in the daytime. As I was walking around during the afternoon, I could hardly notice them. But now because of the light, it's so easy to distinguish them as part of the Eaton Centris landscape. So above you would see the MRT train pulling up at the Quezon Avenue station. That was the same ride I took 
coming here the same one as well that I will be taking later on on my way home more bazaar stalls here non-food items as well some mini pots of plants aromatherapy and mobile phone accessories and on the left is the now famous Popeyes or chicken fast food So really, there's now a good mix of food and non-food bazaar stalls on the Eaton Centris property. Here's another new restaurant. I think it's called Icos or Icos. might be good to google that and see what they're all about this is what the star looks like on the side and another interesting restaurant is the beer factory which is also something that wasn't around the last time I was here a couple of years ago and over here is the well-loved Coco Milk Tea which took the country by storm when it first landed I guess around uh, two to three years ago In the meantime, how are you finding the wide-angle view, care of the wide-angle lens of the DJI Pocket 2? Is it something you'd like me to use more of in my upcoming walkthrough videos? So these are now uh, the back portion that we're seeing. We'd like to get back on track on the commercial side of the Eaton Centris Walk property. And we're here in fact. If you decide to come here, it's really very, very easy to get around as you have seen. There are a lot of entry and exit points which are non-restrictive meaning you can just go in and out from any of those points without any issue and without strict security check as well unlike at indoor malls There are some stores that are closed. But for the most part, majority of the shops here outside are open. 
and accommodating guests and diners. We're now approaching the main park once again, coming back from exploring the rest of the property. If I were you, do come, especially if you live in Peasant City. If you're the type who enjoys open spaces like this to stroll around in, you will definitely find your happy spot here. Let me just go to the main road again to show you some of the other restaurants on the outskirts so the restaurants here are scattered depending on where you're coming from but if you walk around you will eventually hit all of them like we are now doing although it would help to plan your trip ahead to make your visit more hassle-free in terms of finding the ideal restaurants you might want to eat at for coffee shop lovers uh, there is Starbucks here and coffee bean and tea leaf so this is coffee bean they also offer al fresco dining and across it are stores that are closed at the moment that leads out to the main street And this other side leads us back to the park to the right. There's also an Anytime Fitness branch here. So we've hit the first series of uh, food bazaar stalls. We saw earlier. This right here is Royal Kites Travel and Tours. Right there. Which was also closed uh, during the day. So hopefully that's just temporary. There is also this loan. Bibinka and Putabumbong hut over here which is very authentic to the Filipino style Nipa hut this is now heading towards EDSA the main highway and to my left is another Cyberpod Centris building and I guess that's it for this video I hope you found it useful and helpful if you like this video please do consider giving it a thumbs up that will definitely encourage me to create more walkthrough videos like this and please by all means do consider subscribing to my channel Hit the bell to be notified of new videos when I pop them in. Thanks for watching.
keep safe and have a rosy night ahead. Bye!